everybody, my name is Doug Gordon. I'm here on behalf of Adorama TV and in this video we're going to explain to you the angles of the face to most flatter a female subject. What we want to discuss most importantly is how to most flatter a subject, whether it be a female, a male, or whatever it may be. We have to understand that there's clear angles of the face that are going to work best with them. All right, so what they are, there's basically three angles of the face and what those angles of the face are are generally when we look at Tracy, turn your body straight to the camera, Okay, we're looking right here. She's in what we call a full face. A full face is basically a glorified mugshot. So what's happening is when we look at her, we're looking at her and seeing a very full face. There's no angular highlights really. And what's happening is if she's a plus size subject, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to flatter her. And also what happens is when she smiles, you're gonna notice, can you smile, look happy? Her cheeks go up. So our job as a photographer is always to try and thin out the subject as much as, much as we possibly can. Now in her case, even though she's a thin subject, we wanna to try to create angular looks to her. So this is what we call our full face. And what a full face does is basically, again, fill it out. Now if we turn her body, turn your body away this way, we'll talk about lighting in another setup. We want to turn her face here, and what we're doing at this point is creating what we call a two-thirds view of the face. So what we're seeing now is we're breaking the face into three basic parts. This cheek would be part one, this would be part two, this cheek would be part three. Now this is very crucial because lighting is going to become key later on. So we turn her face just a little bit to the right, and now tilt your head a little bit to the left and turn a little bit more to the right. And again, so what you're seeing is this part here is going to be our main lip part because our main light's clearly coming from the window. And then we see the front of the face, which again is set up in two thirds and we're letting this side of the face go into shadow. Now the next position of lighting or angle of the face would be in what we're calling a profile. So turn your body direct to the camera. All right, and now we're gonna turn her face to the window. Turn all the way over your shoulder. And what we're looking for in our profile is we wanna make sure the face is far enough along so that we don't see the other eyelash, eyebrow. Tilt your head a little bit to me. Turn your head slightly to the right, a little bit more, a little bit more, right there. And then we're gonna raise your chin up and your eyes right here, looking straight out at my hand. Now what's key is making sure that we have complete and total separation between anything in the profile and the background. We don't want anything cutting through, whether it would be hair, whether it would be something distracting in the background itself. We wanna make sure that that profile is as clean as we can possibly keep it. So these are three defined angles of the face. Now that we have them, we need to understand how to light them. So this is essential because we want to try to keep a consistent lighting pattern. One of the things that have made me successful over the year is staying with one simple lighting pattern. And what I consider that is a two thirds lighting pattern. So turn your body direct to the camera again. All right, now I want you to turn at a 45 degree angle and I want you to kick your front right leg in like this. Okay, bring your hands up on your hip a little bit. Now if we look at her here, even though we have a fill light for the video coming in, all right, what's happening is her face is kind of split. I'm gonna take an image here so you could see right away. I'm gonna be right from camera. And if we look, I'm exposing there. And what you're going to see in this is you have a lot more light still coming from the right side. So what this is creating is what we call a broad side of the light. And what that's doing is if you look at her face, her face on her right side appears larger. That's because most of the light is coming in and hitting it right here. So what we need to do, and it's essential, is we always wanna bring the face to the light. So let's take a look. Turn your face to the light right there. And what I want you to look, Tim, if you can come in close on the video, I want you to see the highlights coming through right here. If you look, this side of her face is lit, and then we have the main center part lit, but right about here, you start to see it go into a tad of shadow even with that fill light there. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want to light the face two thirds of it because ultimately that's going to thin her out because I'm cutting off one side into partial shadow. Let's take a look at what that image looks like if we turn that face a little bit. Can you bring your eyes here? Chin down a little bit, beautiful, excellent. Stay there, smiling, wonderful. And let's look at how much cleaner the light is. We don't have any shadows coming through the nose at this point. Now, if we turn off our video light, you'll be able to see 
Let's take a look. We turned off our daylight. Now you can really see it in close. And let's look. I'm going to take two images here. The first one, it will be correct. Your eyes are right here looking straight out at my hand. Perfect. Now turn your head back to me. And now let's look at the difference. If you look just by turning her face six inches away, not even six inches, maybe three to four inches away from the light, it changed everything entirely. It's now created a shadow under her nose, it's widened her face, and more importantly, it threw the left eye into shadow, which is ultimately just, it's not gonna look good, especially when you're photographing a person of color. Because when you go to try and print this, you're gonna start to break up a little bit and you're gonna not really like the way it looks. So the key for me is to light into her face. Now, preferably when dealing with a woman, I wanna light into her face through her body. By lighting through her body, that's gonna give me the most detail. Now, can I do this by turning her body towards you're gonna turn your body this way. Now kick your left leg in, and now tilt her head to the right. Now lean forward. I'm always trying to lean the subjects forward, which we'll talk about later on. Chin down a little bit, and your eyes right out here. This again is keeping it simple with one light. Your eyes are up, you're doing great. You're looking right out here, you're smiling beautiful. And we have a beautiful light set up on her face. But if we turn our head back, again, we have the split. Now, is this easily filled with a reflector? You bet. But we want to try to keep this as simple as possible. The most important thing that I can tell you about setting up an angle of the face as well is basically finding the light. Now, let's look and see how we change this with a profile look. If she's looking straight out here into the window, tilt your head to the right, lean forward a little bit, chin down a tad. Her eyes are right out here. Now, just by this light here, if I turn her head into a profile position to me, that's not gonna give me profile lighting. What profile lighting is, is having the light come around behind the face and wrapping around the front. So what that means is if I'm here, this part is still lit. Here is lit, the front of the face is lit, and then this part here is gonna go into shadow. So what I'm gonna do to get perfect profile lighting is not move her. I'm not gonna move the light because I can't. I'm gonna move myself. So I'm gonna take my camera and step into profile position. And when I do that, stretch your chin out just a little bit. You're doing great. Turn your head slightly to the right a little bit. Not so much, back a little bit. Chin down a tad, leaning forward, smiling. I have a perfect profile light. So again, you're looking at the same lighting pattern. It's still a two thirds lighting pattern, but based on my position, it changes everything. Now, when you understand light, you can really make things start to happen. You can really change the way you do things just by positioning your camera and a couple of little things with tilt. Let me show you what I mean. Basic rule, light into the face. And if it's a female, we wanna light into the body because she's in a darker color, it's much easier. So come back on the wall there for a second, beautiful. I'm gonna slide you right over here. I want you to actually turn your legs in just like this. Bring your thumbs in your pocket. You have pockets there. Keep your backside on the wall, okay? And now lean the top of your body off the wall. We're gonna turn your shoulders in this way, but turn your head to the right just a little bit. By leaning her off the wall, and we'll get further on to this about we're basically stretching her out. We're bringing the upper body closer to the camera. Turn your head a little bit, tilt your head slightly to me. Good, now from here, I'm gonna go back by you to camera. You're looking right here and watch how many different images we can look at. Turn your head a little bit, tilt your head a little bit to the left, chin down, wonderful. So the first one, we set up a beautiful full length, turn your head just a bit to the right. I'm off centering it to the right, eyes up here, smiling. So we have her in the right hand quadrant. Now from here, we're gonna change it to a horizontal. You're gonna turn your head, but be serious this time. Nice and soft and relaxed. You're looking at me beautiful. Perfect, so there is, we went with a full length image of her smiling. We went with a close up horizontal. Now I change my angle. We're looking down now for me, Tracy. And I'm going to change it here. I'm going to crop her again in the right hand quadrant. Turn your head a little bit to the right. Perfect, eyes down a little bit more to your right, beautiful. Just like that, stay there. 
and now we have a beautiful profile image of her. Three images, we never moved her body, we adjusted to the light. So we're keeping a consistent two-thirds view of the face, we're keeping a consistent lighting pattern, and it's that simple. And this is how you can build from there because there are so many different things I can do. We started here, we went this way. Then we started here and went into the profile. Now from here, I can adjust myself by coming over here and turning her face to me. Leaning off a little bit, tilting your head. Turn to the right and take a look. Just like that, you're looking at me. This time I'm gonna change my cropping to make it more unique. You're smiling, beautiful, happy. Eye up a little bit. I want you to notice one thing that I did there. I raised her eyes above the camera, and the reason I did that is when I'm looking at you directly in the camera, my eyes go down, especially if my camera height's lower. But if I look above you, my eyes open wide, and you can't quite tell that I'm not looking at you. So it's that simple. Understanding direction of light, understanding an angle of a face, you put it all together, and you create the perfect package. On behalf of Adorama TV, my name is Doug Gordon, and we hope you subscribe to the Adorama TV channel because there's no place like Adorama. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.